Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can choose a specific power mode to go into effect during an activity, but only if the activity gets to within so many hours of your battery going dead on your watch. So first, let me say I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. If you don't have one of the solar models, I don't think this video is gonna do any good for you. Uh, as of August, 2021, it's only the solar models that have the power mode feature and you're gonna need power modes in order to use this feature. If you've watched my videos in the past, we've talked about power modes. Power modes are specific values that you can use when you're doing given activities. So if you're doing the walking activity, you can have certain things that work. Maybe your GPS works, your heart rate, your phone, etc. And then you can do a separate power mode for a different activity. But one of the other things that the Garmin, Garmin Instinct allows you to do is to use a power mode in an activity, but switch to a different power mode in the event that your battery life is going dead. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So there's a couple different ways we can get to this feature. The way I always recommend is go into your activity settings before you do the given activity, set it up the way you want to, and that's what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna press and hold the menu button. I'm gonna use the up or down button and I'm gonna to go to settings, press GPS to select settings, and then we're gonna choose activities and apps. Now this is per activity. So whatever we set for the given activity will have no bearing on a different activity. So everything has to be set in accordance to the way you wanna do it. So let's go down and let's just choose the walk activity, for example. I'm gonna press GPS and I'm gonna select it. Very first option I've got is walk settings. I'm gonna press GPS and select that. Now if we arrow down, we'll see an option for power mode. If I press power mode, you can see that the default mode is normal. Now I can change that to any other power mode I want to. So I'm gonna press GPS while I'm on it. This is what normal is. GPS is on, heart rate is on, phone is on. I can change it to max battery life, which would use ultra track instead of GPS. No heart rate, no phone. I could change it to jacket mode, which would be GPS, no heart rate and phone. Or I can choose HR only, which is a custom power mode that I created that only has heart rate turned on and nothing else turned on. But what I could do is I could leave it on normal because that's gonna give me every feature available. I could also choose a different power mode if my battery life drops. If we go down to auto enable, it's currently off. We're gonna press GPS to turn it on and it says time until empty. And we can go down and we can choose any value we want to. So we can say if we're four hours until the end of my battery life, which power mode do we wanna to switch to? I'm gonna to go to max battery. So now whenever I do the walk activity, my power mode is gonna be normal unless my battery life is within four hours of going dead and if so, it's gonna switch my power mode to max battery. You can set this any way you want to for any activity. Once you're done, you can simply press the back button and whenever you do the activity, those settings will take place. It's kind of a neat feature. It's basically set up to allow you to get the most you want out of your activity, but also have a backup plan in the event that your battery life is going low. As always, I hope the video helps make sense. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments, be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.